A great benefit of digital still cameras is that you can take as many photos as you want without worrying about the costs and hassles of developing film. But in just a few weeks, it's easy to accumulate hundreds if not thousands of photos. This is why we want to give you a glimpse into Photo Explorer, another part of Photo Impact that makes it easy to manage and enhance your growing collection of images and media files. We also want to show you how to navigate around your images, as well as some tips about saving your documents. But first, we'll show you a glimpse of Photo Explorer. First, open Photo Explorer. One quick way to do this in Photo Impact is by going to the Switch button at the top right corner of the screen. This is where you can easily open any ULEED software that you have installed on your computer. Acquiring images from a digital camera is easy with Photo Explorer. You can import images not just from digital cameras and scanners, but also from any device that uses either the Twain or WIA standards. After you've plugged in your digital still camera or memory card, Photo Explorer will automatically open up the digital camera wizard. If not, just go to the File menu and select Digital Camera Wizard, or just click on the Digital Camera Wizard icon. A dialog box will open up. In the Get Images From section, click on Digital Camera. If your camera isn't already next to this tick, click on the word Generic to select your type of digital camera. Choose your camera type from the drop-down list and click OK. At this point, you can choose the folder that you want to copy your pictures to. At the bottom of the menu, you can choose to delete the files from your camera after you transfer them. Just as well, to keep your pictures from having the same name as images you downloaded previously, Photo Explorer can automatically rename your pictures to give them a unique name. Click Start. Your photos will now automatically download into your computer and display in Photo Explorer. As you can see, Photo Explorer has an interface similar to Microsoft's Windows Explorer, including the tree folder on the left for searching files and an interface for viewing all of your digital media. Click on any of the folders in the tree folder and you'll see that all of your pictures display as thumbnails. You can double click on an image in Photo Explorer to view it at full screen. From here you can rotate your image, easily zoom in and out, make quick adjustments and more. Double click on the image again to go back to the tree view. From here, you can also preview video and audio files, create slideshows, rate your photos to make them easier to organize, preserve your camera's EXIF information, and more. Now that we've imported some pictures, we can return to Photo Impact. There's a chance that your digital camera is a WIA device. To acquire images from WIA devices, just go to the File menu and click on either Open or Visual Open. Your device should appear just like any other drive on your computer. You simply need to select the drive that corresponds to your device, then select the files by dragging and dropping them onto your hard drive. Now that you have a file open, here are some points on making it easier to view your image. When you want to zoom in or out of an image, you can do it several ways. One easy way is simply press on the plus or minus buttons on your keyboard. For a second way to zoom in, hold down on the letter Z on your keyboard and click on the left button of your mouse. Then to zoom out, keep holding down the letter Z and click on the right button. Or if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, just hold down the control button and scroll in and out. Saving your work is when the several different file formats become important, especially if you need to compress your images. UFO files are the native format for Photo Impact, and they allow you to retain all of the objects within your document. This means that the next time you open this type of file, all of the objects and the base image will all be preserved for you to continue editing. If you save a document containing objects in any of the other formats, you'll still be able to see the objects in the document, but they'll be merged with the rest of the image and you won't be able to manipulate them. JPEG is probably the most popular format because it allows you to compress your image files to a much smaller size, though with some potential loss of quality. TIFF allows you lossless compression, but won't make the files as small. In this chapter, we've shown you how to acquire images from a digital camera using Photo Explorer. We've also shown you how to zoom in and navigate around your image and about saving your documents. In the next chapter, you'll learn more about features for improving your images using the formatting tools.